Good morning. My name is Scott Colby, and my wife and I have been attending Woodland for, I think, almost 20 years. Uh, we have five children. Um, the oldest is Mason. He's a sophomore in college. Jocelyn is a junior in high school. Addison's a freshman in high school. Cameron's a sixth grader, and Rianne is a fourth grader. So we are very, very busy, but love every minute of it. The reason why we actually started attending Woodland is for our kids. And we were attending a church in South Sarasota, but realized that once we started to have a family, we wanted to be involved in a neighborhood church where our kids could attend youth group with kids that they went to school with and be part of a neighborhood community with kids that they kind of grew up with. So we made the decision to you know, go on a search and, and found Woodland. And we love it here and have, have never looked back. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, legacy. I wanted to talk a little bit about my faith and the things that impacted my faith kind of growing up and then how Stacy and I uh, wish to leave our legacy, you know, for our kids as we, as we grow old, which is happening uh, quicker than we would like it to be happening. Um, the greatest impact on my faith is my relationship with my father. Uh, my dad died about a year and a half ago. It was quite traumatic. It was a very, very devastating experience for me uh, but a wonderful experience for him as he's now um, absolutely positive with Jesus daily and loving life. But the reason why that relationship was so significant to me was the faith that, that he had. And the reason why his faith was so great is it was tested. Uh, my dad was not a mistake-free man. Uh, my dad did not have turmoil in his life. My dad did not have hard times in his life. But what we were able to see growing up as never was his faith wavered. His absolute belief and love in God never, never wavered from some really hard times. And so when I look at faith and I look at the faith that I want to have, I want to emulate one that's valid and that's been validated through, through life. And my dad did that for me, did that for all of my brothers and our whole family. Uh, that's just the way that he lived. Um, no matter what was going on, he loved God, he loved Jesus, and he, and he actually believed it. Um, I laugh because I say that a lot, and, and I, and I want to believe it, but sometimes it's just a saying and an expression. But my dad actually fleshed it out every day and honestly believed that no matter what he was going through was going to be for the good of God and his good, ultimately, all the way to the day that he died. He never feared that. He never had any, any issues with what was going to happen to him. He embraced it, and he lived the, the kind of faith that I aspire you know, to live. So very blessed in, in that regard to have that as a part of my testimony growing up, to be able to see firsthand a faith you know, fleshed out through good and bad, and always loving Jesus and loving God. So very blessed to have that and, and look at that as a very, very strong pivot in, in my faith and my relationship, you know, with God. So for Stacy and I, our legacy and what we what we really try to inspire our kids to do is to live for others. Um, I remember our church uh, here at Woodland did a series called Crazy Love. And, and if you did that series, you'll know and remember chapter three. And chapter three was an earth shattering chapter for me because in, in that chapter, Francis Chen, actually challenges your salvation by your works that you're doing and expands on the expression, you know, faith without works is dead um, and, and really kind of gets you to question what you're doing and is your salvation as solid as you think it is because do the works, you know, prove it in your life? And I remember that being a showstopper for me because I looked at my life and I was day to day, I was living for God when it was convenient for me and my work schedule, but the works wasn't there. And at that point is when Stacy and I really turned our lives and said, you know, we want to make sure our life is defined by the works. Uh, we want to make sure that our kids grow up uh, serving others. And that's a very, very important part of, of our legacy. Today, uh, Stacy runs a ministry called Angels Attic that serves single moms and single moms in the community with food, clothing, housing, um, shelter, or whatever. And our kids are actively part of that. Um, our kids actively uh, feed the homeless. Um, Stacy's active in that, and we participate um, in that. But today, it's all about serving others, and it's all about uh, using our gifts, you know, to serve others. And what we challenge our kids 
to do is to look back at your life with one promise to yourself. And that is, in life, is there anything worse than failure? And we believe that there is. We believe that if you look back at your life and you realize you succeeded at all the wrong things, then that's, that's worse than failure.